Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Hi, hi, it's it's Mo Egger and uh, the Blondie. Blondie and the Bald Guy. Rachel is here. Now, now here's the deal. This is our, our year year in review. We're, we're going to try to get this done in 10 minutes. 10 minutes because I have to be on yet another station today. Or less. Uh, by the way, yeah. uh, really quick, how's, how's, have they added anybody to that morning show you're on? No, not yet. Not yet. But Jake, Chris, Timmy, uh, Chubbs, uh, yep. me, Pork yourself, you, Porkchop. Pork Chop. Um, five yeah. people on one show that plays well, music. Well, we're, we're on vacation uh, right now, mm. so um, expect probably a new mm. cast member as of January 2nd. Great. As, as long as it's not me. All right, we have nine minutes and 15 seconds to get this done. This is our year in review. 2018 is almost over. Right, and I have no idea what the <clears> questions <throat> are. Even right. though I said email them to me, and he did, and then I didn't read them. Nothing if not a master of show prep. Here we go, Rachel. So I, I have one sport for each of these categories. One sports, one non-sports. Oh okay. wow! You, you can do, you can go in whatever direction you would like. Okay. Who won 2018? I'm gonna go with Taylor Swift. Did she have an album this year? Well, she had the highest grossing tour. Okay. Um, and did you she, go? Did you go see it? I did go okay. see it. Um, she you can't the win the year if you don't have an album. Well, she even I last year. even I knew she didn't have an album this year. Okay, well I couldn't pick anything sports related in this town, so Taylor Swift. Okay, well I have a sports related. Okay. Luke, Luke Fickle, the football coach at UC, they went ten and two. Okay. I thought they were going to be abysmal this year, and instead they went ten and two. For non-sports, I have scooters. Scooters. If you oh, go I didn't downtown, know any animate objects. People. Could, are, yeah. I thought it had to be a person. Have you ridden the the no. bird? No. Oh, it, it's life changing. If you go downtown, I was life skeptical. Changing. I would, okay. especially if you've had, you know, eight or nine bourbons, and then you ride the scooter. It's life changing riding the scooter. The bird. How does, I'm a bird guy, not a lime guy. How does that work with liability? Uh, I don't know. They, they do encourage you to wear a helmet, but I've I've never seen anybody wear a helmet. I don't wear a helmet. Um, but the 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 scooter the, the scooter okay. phenomenon to me won. 2018. Let me see All how right. we're doing on time. Doing? Seven minutes and 40 seconds. Our last video was 22 minutes long. I have actually two, Nobody finished I have two sports ones here. Uh, who one? lost 2018? Wow, there's so many to choose from. Besides, you know, me. There's so many to choose from. Mm -hmm. I think Kanye West. He lost 2000. He kind of had a meltdown. There were, there were multiple meltdowns. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do, is, is he to the point where people are no longer paying attention? Because I don't pay attention to him. I don't. I would like it to be Kanye guy. Musically, and, and the Kardashians. Stop paying attention to the Kardashians too, but they uh, had a good I year. never have paid attention to them either. Nor have I. Uh, all right, I had Hugh Jackson. That makes sense. He was yeah. with the Browns. He lost. He's with the Bengals. He's losing. That's that's losing. I also had uh, J.R. Smith. You know who J.R. Smith is? I do. J.R. Smith uh, for the Cavaliers. Uh, not with the Cavaliers anymore, but game one NBA Finals. Lost track of time and score, and he had the ball. End of regulation. Maybe the series doesn't turn out differently, but to me, he lost 2018. That was a pretty bad moment for him. Yeah. All right, let me see. How are we doing on time? Six minutes and 35 okay. seconds. Uh, who do you hope to not hear from or about in 2019? Oh, I just referenced this. The Kardashians. Okay. I had two. One will probably not be very popular. Marvin Lewis, obviously. That's who you don't want to hear from Kind of hope to not hear from him anymore. Okay, fair F enough. Fiona the Hippo? Actually, I'm with you on that. Fiona's not cute anymore. There, I said it for you. I, I certainly She's don't. She's an adult hippo. I don't, She's not a baby well, hippo. It, 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 it was, she was cute when she was little. Now, not I little. don't wish ill on the hippo by any stretch. I'm an animal lover. I right. actually went to the zoo this year. That's great. Uh, not necessarily to see uh, Fiona. I, I just, I gotta be honest with you, I don't care. I, and I, and I, I, I never even really pretended to. I didn't buy the Fiona ice year. cream. I didn't buy the Fiona bottled water. I didn't buy the Fiona laxative. I'm there, not was, into, there was the bobblehead night at Great American Ballpark. I, just, I, I don't care. I, I certainly don't want Fiona to meet the same fate as the last zoo animal that we made a big deal of. I don't want Fiona to get shot. But, but I guess if we could spend 2019 talking about something besides a hippo, that would yeah. be great. What was for you, I, I, both the sports and non-sports, okay. 2018's best moment? Best moment? <clears throat> yeah. Cool. This is a tough one. Mm -hmm. Tough times, times that we, this we're... Is, this is why I should have read minutes. the questions in advance, yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. Five minutes. Best moment. Yeah. Best moment. Best moment. Well, how about you go and then I'll try to. I sat on the, on the timer. Line. I had to reset it, so we're we're down to like five minutes, four minutes and fifty seconds. Okay. 
Okay. The FC Citywide celebration to celebrate the soccer team, FC Cincinnati yeah. getting into Major League Soccer, that to me okay. was the best moment. And then I had the whole, uh, from a pop culture standpoint, mm -hmm. IHOP became IHOP. Oh, that was fine. You know why? Yeah. Because I actually, advertising works. I was compelled to go to IHOP and have their burger. But you, you're an IHOP guy anyway. I'm an IHOP guy anyway, but I never thought of trying their burgers, and they made such a big deal about it. I thought, well, let's see, works. let's see how the IHOP burgers. So okay. yeah, to me that was 2018's Pop best culture, moment. Best moment. Yeah. Do, do you not have one? Um, no. Okay. I don't. I don't think I do. I. All right. I don't. Thanks. Thanks for playing along. I don't think I do. Do I you have a uh, 2018's worst moment? Gosh, there were so many. Mm -hmm. There were just so many. Yeah. That's going to be a hard one to choose from. <laughs> okay. Now I don't have a best, but there are a lot. If you if you don't have a best, you have to have a worst. I guess it would make everything tied for the worst for you. Yeah. Came back to work here. What, that on, was, what, yeah. on what side of the the line would that fit in? That was better, okay. I guess. We're, uh, jury's still out on All that right, one. All right, sports-wise, mm -hmm. March 18th, 2018, UC is cruising. They're up 22 against Nevada, 10 minutes away from going to Atlanta to play in the Elite Eight, or the Sweet 16 and then the Elite Eight, and they lost. That was the worst moment of the year, sports-wise, for me. Okay. Um, from a cultural standpoint, remember the Tide Pod Challenge? Yeah. People yeah. were eating laundry detergent. I don't know how you can consider anything worse than that. That was a thing. That was People a were thing. were going on the internet eating laundry detergent. When when people talk about how far we've come as a as a race, as a as a society, I always kind of revert back to that. Nothing politically is ever gonna be worse than the moment that someone decided, you know, let's start eating laundry detergent and people will follow my lead. And then they did. That's the bottoming out of society. Uh, That's yeah. the world I'm introducing my daughter to. Honey, we now have people eating laundry detergent. When you had to have Rob Gronkowski re record a PSA, one of the, one of the not, not a guy that you necessarily Rob Gronkowski meant to never, remember, yeah. and he's having to beg people, don't eat laundry detergent that's that's a problem. I that to me is the worst of 2018. Uh, worst for me is the moment yeah, three minutes. that we all realized that uh, Kylie Jenner is a billionaire. That was that was that was bottom. That doesn't bother me at all. I you mean, know, go get paid if you can. If look, but if, it's it's along the lines of we're still making people that are not really uh, good at anything rich and famous. Maybe that'll happen to me one day. All right, the, the, last, the last one here, and this, this is, I'm excited about this one because this one will give you a chance to, to maybe reveal something about yourself. Yes. Your favorite personal moment of 2018. Ooh, um, I think that's yet to come because we're about to hit goal. You're in goal in like two days. So that's why people are watching this. And that's why you're watching this right now. So, so it's, the, um, the year has 12 days left and you're still hoping that the best personal moment for you. Is, is in two days. It's going to come in like about two days. Do you think we have a chance to uh, hit our goal? We yeah, talked about our goals absolutely. on last week. Right. Absolutely. We're right. totally going to hit. Uh, and actually, I have a couple more things, okay. at least one thing to look forward to. Yeah. And that is our big announcement that we are going to actually have three hours together on air on WLW Christmas Eve, 3 to 6, you and me, oh. doing oh. a Christmas special. Oh. So that's going to be another joyful moment of the year for me. And oh. if I have to look back, I'm going to say that Taylor Swift concert. Again, T-Swift makes the makes So this was, this would be like a, a, a promo for the, the show we're doing together three to six on, on Christmas yeah. Eve. Yeah, I'll promise to talk less about T-Swift and be more prepared. I'm going to be less prepared. I, I, I bathed, <laughs> I bathed, had a liquid lunch. All right, you know, for me, yeah. I, I got married. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is, are you moving this year or next we're year? We're moving next year. So next year, yeah. you have know, that to look forward to. I'm not to. sure I'd call that favorite personal moment, mm -hmm. but I got married last last January. Very quietly, didn't make a big deal. There was no, uh, there wasn't even a ceremony, but there was certainly no hashtag to my ceremony. If there's if there's something that I, I wish would go away next year, not every wedding needs a hashtag. You know, there are people whose jobs that is. The right? people, the people who are, are at the wedding yeah. are those who care. The rest of us checking it on social media. Congratulations on getting married. Not not every wedding needs a. A hashtag. What you would hire our, people. What would our hashtag? Blondie and bald guy. Yeah, okay. it would be. My favorite personal sports moment is I, I got to go to the College World Series. 
Don't you do that every year? No, it was on my bucket list for a year. But my, my friend took me. Oh, yeah. I thought you got to go previously. No, no. Oh. Well, I'm happy for you. We, we got, we're at, we're, we're actually over. So you have oh, to, okay, yeah, I have gotta, to go. Gotta go. So, hey, thanks for watching. Listen on Christmas Eve 3 to 6 on yeah. 700 WLW. And, and for God's sake, so, so we can hit our goal. Yes, please click on website. Uh, send this to everybody you know. Yeah. Thanks so much for, for watching the year in review edition of Blondie and the Bald Guy. See you guys next time.